Hey people, we're continuing with cake decorating from Wilton, a beginner's guide. So we've reached um, the section about learning how to decorate and uh, so using the bag. <laughs> It says direction is um, direction is where the pa back of the bag is pointed as you decorate. Think of the back of the bag as the hour hand of a clock. If instructions say to hold the bag at six o'clock, hold the bag back of the bag towards you. For three o'clock, hold the back towards the right. For nine o'clock, towards your left. No, lefties should hold the bag in the reverse direction state. So we're talking about the squeezing bag. So round tip decorating. So we we learned previously that the bags have like the squeezing bags have um, different kinds of tips. So there were round star, petal, leaf, and drop flower. So, okay. Dot. These easy decorations show up all the time as confetti, facial features, buttons, and more. If you can pipe a dot, you can make a ball. Just hold your tip in the icing as you squeeze to build up. Practice with tip three using medium consistency icing. So hold the bag at 90 degrees with the tip slightly above surface. Squeeze the bag and keep point of tip in icing until dot is the size you want. So we can write with it this kind of tip. Dot's outlines printing writing. Stop squeezing the bag completely before you lift the tip from the dot. Lift the tip up and pull away from your pipe dot. Outlines. Designs are often outlined first, then piped in with stars or zigzags. The concept is like filling in the lines in a coloring book. Outline is used for facial features too. One, practice with tip uh, three using thin consistency icing. Um, hold the bag at 45 degrees with back at three o'clock and um, the tip slightly above surface. Touch tip to surface Raise the tip slightly and continue to squeeze. Icing will flow out of the tip while you direct it along the surface. So end stop squeezing, touch tip to surface and pull away. Printing and writing. Messages are a must on birthday cakes and they're so much easier when you trace the pattern first or in print using the Wilton Make Any Message Press Set. Practice with tip three using thin consistency icing. Hold the bag at 45 degrees with back at 3 p.m. Um, so three o'clock, let's see, on the watch, let's see where's three, one. So the back towards three. And um, and then tip slight and then the tip slightly touching the surface. You may pipe letters freehand or pipe over a pattern traced with a toothpick, or pipe after imprinted letters with a pattern press. If you're using a pattern press, let let icing crust slightly then imprint the message.
To print using a steady, even pressure, squeeze out a straight line, lifting the tip of, off the surface to let icing string drop. So use an even, steady pressure. And to prevent tails from forming, be careful to stop squeezing before you touch tip to surface and pull away. Be sure to end the end is clean before you go on to another line. For writing steadily, squeeze gliding along the surface in a smooth, continuous motion. Remember to keep your wrist straight, moving your entire forearm in a single unit. Use your arm, uh, your entire, um, use your arm, not your fingers, to form each line, letter or word. After you begin to master the curves and swings of the letters, lift the tip up slightly as you write. You'll find you have more control if you let the icing draw out slightly slightly over the surface as you write. Wilton Press Set Type perfect lettering and scripts, beginning and professional decorators alike. Use Wilton letter presses to ensure precise, even messages. Just imprint into your eyes or fondue covered cake, then pipe over the markings with icing. So they're words and letters. They're like stencils basically, like you press it against the surface. Then the next is star tip decorating. Here is the number one most popular decoration for kids' birthday cakes. If you can pipe perfect stars, you're well on your way to completing a shaped character cake like a pro. Practice with tip 16 using medium consistency icing. Hold the bag at 90 degrees with tip between 1 8 and one quarter of an inch above the surface while using your other hand to hold the tip steadily. Uh, squeeze the bag to form a star. Increasing or decreasing the amount of pressure changes the size of the star. Stop squeezing the bag completely before you lift the tip from the star. Lift the tip up and pull away from your pipe star. Pull out stars and add more dimension to your cake. To make them use the star tip like 16 and hold the bag at 45 degrees angle to the surface. As you squeeze out icing, pull tip up and away from the cake. When your mound is high enough, stop pressure and pull tip away. Work from bottom to top of area to be covered with pull-out stars. Star fill-in. Shaped cakes often feature an outlined main character um, which is filled in with stars. A quick way to fill in the stars is to use the triple star tip. which pipes three stars with every squeeze. This is a Wilton Triple Star Tip 2010. Uh, follow tip and positioning directions from stars section and pipe a row of stars evenly and close together. Adjust the tip position slightly each time so that the points of the stars interlock and cover the area without any gaps. Pipe a row of stars beneath the first. Again, adjusting tip position to close any gaps. Continue to fill in the entire area. 
Rosette. Rosettes are ideal candle holders. Just type in position your candle in the center. They also look great finished with a center star or dot. Practice with um, tip 16 using medium consistency icing. Hold the bag at 90 degrees with tip slightly above surface. Squeeze out icing to form a star and without releasing pressure, move the tip in a tight, complete rotation. Starting at 9 o'clock, moving to 10, excuse me, moving to 12 o'clock and ending back at 9 o'clock. Stop pressure and lift away and you got a, a rosette. Zigzags. The easy up and down motion makes zigzags a fast way to fill in outlined areas or cover the entire side of the cake. Practice with tip 16 using um, medium consistency uh, icing. Hold the bag at 45 with back at 3 and tip lightly touching surface. Steadily squeeze and move your hand in a tight up and down motion. Uh, continue piping up and down with steady pressure to end stop pressure and pull tip away. For more elongated Zigzags, move your hand to the desired height while maintaining a steady pressure. For a more relaxed look, just increase the width as you move the bag along. Repeat as you move in a straight line with consistent up-down motion. Um, petal tip decorating. Bows. Ideal for shoestrings or on figures, piped baby booties, or an enormous ribbon covering a cake top. You can also use a round uh, or star tip to make a bow. Practice with tip 104 using medium consistency icing. Hold the bag at 45 degrees and with the bag at 6 o'clock and a tip with wide end touching surface, narrow and straight up, and squeeze. Moving the tip up and around to the left, uh, and uh, back to the starting point. Continue around making a second loop on the right. The two loops will form an eight. And while holding bag in the same position, return to the center and squeeze out two streamers. And you got a bow. Leaf tip decorating. Leaf. The natural look of a leaf it's very easy easy to achieve. Your Wilton Tip 352 does most of the work. When you try the motion a few times, you'll see how the tip forms the general curves and dimensions of a leaf. So this is base, basic leaf with using Tip 352. Then you have another kind a leaf veined leaf with a tip 67 and then with a stand up leaf with tip 67 as well. So practice with th tip 352 using thin consistency icing. Hold the bag at 45 degrees with the back at 6 and the tip lightly touching surface. The wide opening should be parallel to the surface. Squeeze hard to build up the base and at the same time lift the tip slightly. Relax pressure as you pull the tip for, towards you, uh, drawing the leaf to a point. And stop squeezing and lift away. Can you do those, please? 
Next is drop flower tip decorating. Swirl drop flowers. Quick one squeeze flowers can make a cake pretty in just minutes. What's more, you can do these flowers in advance with royal icing. Let them air dry and save them until you need them. Practice with tips 129 and 2 using medium consistency icing. Hold the bag at 90 degrees with tips slightly above surface. Turn your wrist and toward before towards you before piping. You will turn wrist a full wrist twist. Starting with the flat of your knuckles at 9 o'clock uh, as you squeeze out the icing, slowly turn your hand with knuckles ending at 12 o'clock. Stop squeezing and lift the tip away. Royal icing. For decorations which dry candy hard, royal icing is great for flowers like the drop flowers above. You can make them in advance, let dry in place right on your cake when you're ready. Keep mixing bowls and utensils grease free and grease will break down this icing. Royal, uh, cover royal icing bowls with a damp cloth while decorating to prevent crusting. Keep royal icing decorations away from bright light colors may fade. Use more icing color than with buttercream to achieve the same intensity. Royal icing recipe. Three level tablespoons Wilton meringue powder. Four cups sifted confectioner's sugar, about one pound. Beat and um, six tablespoons of water. When using large countertop mixer or for stiffer icing, use one tablespoon less water. Beat all ingredients at low speed for 7 to 10 minutes or 10 to 12 um, at high speed for portable mixers until icing forms peaks. Uh, mix three cups. Okay. I think we're going to pause here. So thank you guys. Serve up Teddy's treat. You, we've got a scoop. You can bake cupcakes right inside ice cream cones. Decorate them with colorful swirl scoops on top. Passing out those cool cones is everyone's favorite. The cuddly teddy bear, he's cute as can be, dressed up with an easy figure eight bow. Cakes are 12, cones one each. Pans, huggable bear, standard muffin. Tip 3, 7, 18, 32, 104. Colors, Kelly green, lemon yellow, and rose, and black. Recipe buttercream and chocolate buttercream icing. Also, cake board, fancy foil wrap, disposable decorating bag. Uh, cake, ice cream cones, aluminum foil, chocolate buttercream, excuse me, <laughs> and cornstarch. Make one and a half cups buttercream icing, 
and two and three quarter cups of chocolate buttercream. The tint as follows one quarter cup green, quarter cup yellow, quarter cup rose, quarter cup black, three quarters cup light brown. Mix half white with half chocolate for the brown. Line muffin pan with aluminum foil to support ice cream cones. Position one dozen cones in pan and fill one half to two thirds full with batter. Bake 20 to 25 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Let cool. Pipe zigzag motion on cupcake tops using tip 32, yellow, pink, and green icing. That's how you make your cones. Bacon cool bear out cake. Outline eyes, nose, and mouth using tip 3 and um, black icing. Pipe in eyes and nose with tip 7. Uh, smooth with finger dipped in cornstarch. That's how you get your uh, bear cake. With the eyes, nose, and mouth. With tip 3. And black icing. And eyes and nose with tip 7. Then cover cake with stars using tip 18 and light and dark brown icing. Position decorated cone in pot area and pipe stars over uh, over the cone for uh, paw using uh, tip 18 and uh, dark brown icing. So first you make the bear only, and then you put the cone and go over to add a paw. And uh, dark brown icing and over pipe paw to create dimension. Pipe bow using type 104 wide and down green with green icing and pipe out line numeral 1 using tip 18 and dark brown icing. I guess for one year old or so. So good luck and <laughs> um, we're going to pause so my page Facebook.com, Yozalplay, Y-O-S-A-L-L-P-L-A-Y. Thank you, guys. That looks really nice.